Well, stop number one, I didn't find anything uh, too helpful. Although I got myself a copy and some tidbits, so nuts all lost. And, oh, ho, ho, I'm truly the king of the early 2000s. Hell yeah. I think this is the big score. Didn't find anything really here. Kind of was tempted to get a VHS copy of Top Gun, though. Um, but why would I want that? There, there's no good reason, so I didn't. Hard cut. But uh, here's some stuff I managed to get. Uh, but I didn't want to take my camera with me because I felt that that would be weird. But um, it's kind of hard to see on VHS quality. But this is disgusting. <laughs> and uh, I'm cleaning it because a lot of the stuff I managed to get does not come uh, looking very nice. And i uh, got to make it pretty before you can make it work. And usually uh, that means opening it up and cleaning the contacts and whatnot too. So it can take fair bit of time but hey got a boom box so now I'm super hipster sometimes it's a mess and the uh, screen dies and it just makes horrible Hissing sounds. Neon dreams, you may ask. What about tapes and physical releases? Well, do I have the thing for you? As you may see there, I got some nice tapes. Um, these are still unopened, and uh, they're high quality. Uh, 100 minutes is a lot more than my first EP is, but I've had people asking since it came out when I was going to do uh, a reissue of that because it was fairly limited. It was only 15. Um, can't say when that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna for sure do that this year. Um, just have to try and swing it with my work schedule. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that's gotta go into it that uh, you guys don't see, which is probably good because it's not exciting, it's just a lot of stuff. The plan for this video was a little different, but due to uh, time constraints and also uh, eBay, <laughs> I can't make it quite how I wanted. I'd ordered um, a fancy new age device uh, called the Title Maker 2000 and I was going to do a lot of goofy title cards and uh, subtitles and everything but unfortunately um, it's been like two and a half weeks I'd say since I ordered it and uh, they just shipped it this morning so I uh, had to change things up a bit which is a shame because I thought that would be kind of fun. In 2019 you can expect a reissue of my first EP uh, on cassette tape and uh, they'll be in you know, of course high quality, uh, it'll be slightly different print, uh, just so people know it's a reissue, and I'm still getting the original artist, uh, my friend Kevin Vaughn, to do that, and I think he's cooking up something you guys will really enjoy. Uh, there's new music to expect, uh, you can actually hear uh, the first song that I've sort of let slip out of the upcoming album, uh, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to sort of a fun video that a friend of mine, Matthew Parrish, made. A uh, very talented guy, really works magic with the camera, so I'd recommend, uh, if you enjoy that video, definitely to uh, subscribe to him, because uh, he makes lots of fun little videos. Also, uh, can expect more uh, activity on my YouTube channel. I know that it's been kind of intermittent every few weeks, and I don't know how consistent I can get it in terms of, you know, every uh, certain day of uh, uh, every week or whatnot. I don't think that's a reality that I can... Uh, swing just with my schedule, just with my job. Um, it's uh, <laughs> very time consuming, so it's hard to do that. But I think I can uh, put out more videos this year for sure and uh, really vary the content so it's not all just music related. Some of it can maybe be more fun, or God forbid I make a cringy sketch or something and put that out there. Uh, we'll try not to do that though, but you never know. This video hasn't been too painful to listen to if you've made it all the way through to this point, but if you did, congratulations, you're probably the only one. Uh, I really look forward to 2019, I think a lot of great things are going to happen. Uh, 2018 was a huge year uh, for me personally and also with Neon Dreams. I suppose it's its only year up to this point, but let's just forget that. I mean, went from uh, just sending clips to you know, close friends and family to I can't believe I can say it, but I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all these different major services now, which uh, might not be super cool to uh, you, but to me is, uh, you know, just a guy. 
that's that's pretty cool to be able to say that my music's available on such a uh, such large platforms for people to listen to. It's really a massive milestone, and I don't know if I can uh, top that next year, but I definitely think that with uh, those services, it'll be a lot easier for people to listen, uh, for people who des necessarily can't uh, buy it off of Bandcamp or don't want a physical copy, they can't afford it, or it's just not their thing. Uh, it's easy to stream it, and you don't have to go onto my YouTube channel either. It's just very accessible, so really looking forward to the next year, and yeah, I don't know how to end videos because this is new to me, so I guess this is the end.